In this video, I'll show you what it's like to take transit from Los Angeles International Airport to Redondo Thank you. Beach, where I grew up. Have a great day. This will be the first of many videos I make about Los Angeles. LAX has been ranked the worst airport in the world, partly because of how car-centric and congested it is. Getting in and out of this airport on the ground is hellish. And this newly renovated terminal here has been extremely crowded like this the last couple times I've been here. Like any car-centric airport, the moment you step outside, you're bombarded by noise, car exhaust, cigarette smoke, and a little jet fuel. I can't imagine having to work here, and people inside vehicles are also exposed to the harmful air pollution. The airport is working on improving. You can see the new rail line under construction here, dubbed the People Mover, which is supposed to have trains every two minutes from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. This is desperately needed, and I'll certainly be using it to take the metro home when it's completed. First, I took a shuttle to the Green Line, which is part of LA's metro system. I didn't wait long for it, but the signage wasn't amazing, so I felt a little lost. It took about 10 minutes just to get out of the airport due to the terrible traffic from private vehicles. This bus was in pretty rough shape. Transit users deserve better. This is just outside of LAX, a typically pedestrian hostile area in LA. Note that there are very few crossings here, and the few crossings there are are very long and lack a refuge island in the middle, which leads to a psychological sense of exposure. Here you can see there's one curb cut for both crosswalks, which makes the sidewalk harder to access, particularly for people on wheels or with strollers. I saw this little pedestrian hostile design feature dozens of times during this trip to LA. By itself, it isn't a huge deal, but combined with the vast number of other pedestrian hostile elements, they really add up. Something else that's very typically LA here, gas stations on every corner. It's got a bit of an apocalyptic vibe since fossil fuel extraction is compromising our ability to live on the planet. Thank you. Here we are arriving at the metro station. I saw lots of artfully designed stations at the metro. Getting a metro card to pay my fare was easy. Let's take in this scene for a second. We've got a whole bunch of highway overpasses, a massive parking lot, and a five-story parking garage. This is what car dependence looks like. The amount of public space for people to actually hang out and spend time in is pitiful. The metro stations were generally decent on the green line, with a good amount of seating. But there are signs of poverty at pretty much every metro station I saw here such as elevators that smell like piss, and broken stuff like this glass. No one should be unhoused or impoverished, and not providing housing to people is a policy choice. Underfunding transit, as car-centric places invariably do, also impairs transit's ability to keep stations and trains clean and well-maintained. There weren't too many people on the train, which isn't ideal. But I did notice right away this nice spot for bikes and other stuff. The doors are... The ads on the train made my footage show up like this. So I hopped out and jumped into another car. Yup, this is LA. There are things I love about this place, but I find it kind of depressing to be here. There's plenty of parking though. I'll show some shots of this Costco parking lot in a later video. Costco is just absolutely emblematic of car culture and American waste, where because people are so heavily incentivized to drive to the store, they feel the need to buy tons of stuff since having to drive there is such a chore. Not Just Bikes talks about this exact concept in his video about grocery shopping in Amsterdam versus North America. I rode the train to the last stop, Redondo Beach Station, which is actually several kilometers from Redondo, so I took this connecting bus which runs by my childhood home. 
pulled up just as I arrived, and I was able to transfer using the same metro card I used for the train. If I didn't have luggage, this distance would be perfect for a bike or a scooter, and I'd skip the bus. Taking a bike or a scooter or any other micromobility device on the bus or train is called multimodal transportation, and it's an excellent way to get around as it allows you to access stations that would be inconvenient to walk to and avoid having to make transfers. I've probably ridden on this quote-unquote bike path hundreds of times. You can see how narrow it is and the fact that it's unprotected next to these massive highway-sized lanes. I'd advise just biking on the sidewalk here, as it's quite wide and very few people walk in this area, though of course, cyclists riding on the sidewalk should always respect and yield to pedestrians. This is North Redondo, where I grew up. Again, you can see that the speed limit is 25, yet this street is designed such that going double that speed would be comfortable. The lanes are relatively wide, and there are no raised crosswalks, speed bumps, or any other kind of traffic calming that physically forces drivers to go slow. And the tiny sidewalk is constantly pocked by signs, hydrants, and electric boxes, and interrupted by driveways. I only had a five minute walk home, but wow, looking at my old neighborhood with my new perspective, I was amazed how poorly designed this area is. This was right after Christmas, and I saw lots of people dump their trees right on the sidewalk. And again, the posts and signs impeding the already minuscule sidewalk. This one was right in the middle. Obviously not wheelchair accessible, but the city evidently doesn't care if people who use wheelchairs have to roll in the street. Overall, it takes about three to four times longer to take transit than drive for this trip, which it shouldn't. But even though it takes longer, I still prefer to take transit because it's just more peaceful and less soul crushing and wasteful. That's it. Thanks so much for watching, and feel free to check out my other videos about airport transit trips in Vancouver and Winnipeg. I have tons more footage of LA, and more videos coming. In the next one, I'll show you around Redondo, my hometown. I also feature the airport to downtown trip on all of my posts grading cities on their transit on Instagram. If you like what I'm doing and have the means, please support me on Patreon. You can find a link in the description.